Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So, Cancer, this is your weekly check-in. Again, guys, these are general readings, so only take what applies. Love, 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 love challenges. Um, there is someone who says they love you, but th there is this... Mm, this kind of there is this energy of like there there's a lot of history let's put it this way this is definitely somebody from the past um there there has been um a lot that has transpired right let's put it this way between uh, you and this person and it's like you're 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 at this point where you're kind of asking yourself like is love really supposed to hurt like this or am i really supposed to um go through all of this um again this is There, because it's like, and that's the thing, it's like I keep on seeing somebody that keeps on crying, keeps on getting their heart broken, gets to a certain part of healing, right, to a certain level, and then allows the repetition to occur, to occur. Now, whether it is that you're doing this back and forth with one person, right, a person that leaves and then comes back or you're attracting the same type of individual but the whole point here is that there's somebody and I feel that it's you cancer where you end up in bed crying every single time and, and there's this urgency that that something needs to change right um you there, there's this there's kind of like this this space where when you when you I, I don't even know how to explain it it's like you guys again keep Keep attract you. You guys continue to attract this energy or these energies from individuals that come in to take advantage of you, right? Or vice versa. Where it's like every relationship that you get into, or every time this person comes back, cancer, you. Even if they're showing to you that they haven't changed, you are telling yourself over and over and over and over that it's going to be different, right? Even if the new person is coming in and they're showing you the red flags from like a hundred miles away, you're still telling yourself that they're going to be different. So there is a, an, a, a need to, if you choose anyways, to be aware of why is it that you settle? Why are you settling for people, individuals in general, that treat you like you're worth nothing? And, and, and like, I, I'm sorry to be so harsh, but that's really the way that it's coming in. And it's like, there's this twisted mixed belief or this crazy idea that comes with love that and, and again it can be part of like you know the way that you were raised or the way your parents were or the way you saw relationship where it's like the more okay let's put it this way it's like okay somebody's getting you know you you're in a relationship and it's like he or she beats you right and they say sorry and then they buy you flowers and this and this and that so the you're you're forgetting or you're blocking, let's put it this way, the beating part, right? 
and only focusing on the flowers or the gift that they got you and making excuses for the actual physical damage that they caused you. It's kind of like this energy of like needing to needing to stop making excuses for people that treat you poorly. Hope that makes sense. Um, but it has a lot to do again with, with relationship, right? Um, with love. Um, it, it, it's, it's just kind of like, take a step back and stop making excuses for them. And that's the thing, it's like some of you are really in this space of wanting, you want to know if somebody's going to change. The answer is yes. But the answer is not who you think is going to change person that needs to change is you in the sense that you need to stop allowing this type of energy or these type of people into your life you need to wake up to realize that you can't fix someone or you can't save someone by being someone's punching bag whether it's literary literally or figure of speech um all that is doing is that you continue to put yourself in these positions or the situations where you're being bruised, where you're being used. And you got to stop. For some of you, it's um, kind of like this. Uh, somebody's like verbally abusive towards you. It's like they talk down to you and there is this, this sense that, I don't know, it's like, why? And it's not, and it's about like, I feel like a lot of people have told you this or a lot of people have noticed this, but you again continue to make excuses for the way this person or these people treat you so with the isis oracle card we have queen of heaven blessing from the divine empress of the skies and what i like about this um it, it this is kind of like this 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 energy right where um it's like you're being gifted or you're being given this opportunity to heal, right? Um, to to realize, to recognize something so that you can move on, so that you can release, right? Because we do have the elder move beyond ancestral patterns. So there's definitely a pattern here that needs to be broken. There's definitely a pattern here that needs to be um, moved away from, right? A cycle that needs to be put to an end. Um, and you really need to, with number 19 and the lavender, surround yourself with love. You really need to surround yourself with people that actually embodied um, love and that actually know how to give and receive love because unfortunately a lot of the people that you have been surrounding yourself with don't know how to receive let alone give love and and i'm sorry to say it but it's the truth it's the way that i'm picking it up it's like there is this this huge space or this huge energy for you to go ahead and experience um healing from all of this right from all of these patterns that need to be released and realize that there is another way to experience love there is another way to live there is another way to move on with life so this is definitely going to be a very emotional week for you guys but i feel that this is also going to be a week that is going to allow you to free yourself from these patterns right from these energies where you allow others to really use use you and bruise you that's that's like 
you're like all bruised like not not physically for a lot of you but it's like your heart is just it's been so bruised from people mistreating you well cancer that is all that i have for you for this week as always guys thank you for all the love and support thank you for subscribing liking and sharing the videos as well as for your donations for all of those that have been donating if you're interested in a private reading the information to my website is down below in the description as well as the information for instagram and facebook sending every single one of you love strength and blessing guys take care love you all bye bye